Hi, Shane Saracen. It is time for, I guess I'm going to put this on a tip Tuesday. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, I have shot this snare drum before in different videos. This is a DW maple snare drum. I bought it used. I strictly bought it because I like the finish on it. And of course, uh, DW is known for a certain quality. And I had mentioned in the original video that uh, I had never had a problem with a DW snare throw off. Uh, the old style throw off. Uh, well, I have now had a problem with those, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that for a second. This is the old style throw off. I'll try to hold it up where you can see it. It basically pulls down like that. There's two arms, if you want to call it that, that have like rivets or something that hold it in place. It seized up on me. I had to take it off the drum and take it apart to find out what was wrong with it. It's quite a heavy duty piece of machinery and it may be over, um, over complicated in some ways. Uh, but the issue is this piece right here, and I hope you can see that. It's a little coil of some kind that has compression to it that helps that lock in and, and throw off. Somehow that dislodged and came out of place. And one of the, uh, grommets or rivets seems to be moving, so I believe that that's what caused that uh, to happen there. That being the case, I, just, I finally had a problem with this. Now, I've had several DW snares because I like to collect snares. Uh, I actually have the most of Yamaha, and then probably Ludwig would be second. But, and I sold a few DW snares that I bought, but most all of them had this. I did replace one with a mag throw off. Now I have one I can see across the room right now. It's actually a PDP. It's a seven inch acrylic snare. It's called the Mud Flap uh, Girl Snare. And it has a throw off similar to this. Um, and I think all the other ones that I still have have mag related throw offs. Now, that being said, I'm gonna, I decided to go ahead and replace this one with the mag throw off. Now I believe it's called mag because it stands for magnet. But it basically drops down like that. And there's little magnets in here that will help it hold its place when it's up in the um, on position, if you want to call it that. As a side adjustment here, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and retry the triple-sided butt plate or triple-positioned uh, butt plate. Now, that being said, I've never had those before. I've always just kind of thought, well... I don't really see the use for it. I'm just going to have it tuned where I like it and tension where I like it, and that's pretty much it. Uh, otherwise, I'll just grab a different snare. But I decided since I was going to replace one, maybe I'll replace them both and see what I think. So that's partially what this video is about. It's a three-position butt plate and the mag throw-off. Now, I will say that I do like the mag throw-off. I think it's pretty competitively priced and stuff like that. But... Uh, you know, DW is, is kind of been this American-made company that now they do have some drums that have been made in Mexico and some in China and stuff now, but we'll get to that at a different point. But the thing I want to talk about is um, I had read a lot of complaints about the strainers, the snare throw-offs, and I never had a problem. Now I have, so, but I haven't had any problems with the mag throw-offs. I kind of like it. I do think it's competitively priced and whatnot. But what I was going to say is I have some snares. Uh, I'm looking at one straight across the room right now. That's a Yamaha from the first series of drums that they put out. Has such a riddle strainer on it. Never had a problem. I've had some Ludwigs and stuff from the 70s that never had problems. Or Yamahas for 20 plus years that never had problems with any of the throw-offs. Uh, I don't know if the DW one just got, you know, trying to be really cool in this design and created problems or not. I don't know. I just know for the first time I did have a problem with it. So, I got this drum. Uh, this is a, it's around a five. Uh, not, actually, not even quite a five. I don't know if it was a custom order from somebody or what. Uh, again, I bought it used. It still has the stock bottom head on it. And as far as I know, the wires are what I got on it. I put a Remo Ambassador X on here. And other than that, and replacing the strainer and the butt end, it's exactly as I got it. Now, Oh, I had a, a, a muffle uh, close by, but I don't have it. If the video got darker, one of my lights just went out. We'll, we're going to continue for now. So here's the drum without any um, muffling whatsoever.
The drum is in its middle position. So now I'm going to turn the snares looser. So if I put it in what I call its uh, lower position or looser position, uh, if you want to call it three, two would be the standard or middle. It's going to put less tension on the snares and they're going to rattle a little bit more. Back to the middle. Back to loose. Okay, now I'm going to go the extreme and go tighter. So this is pulls the snares across the, the bottom as tight as they'll go on this setting. So that's tight. Actually, what you should notice is it does change the pitch slightly. Tight. Medium. Loose. So the quick review on this thing is I, I like the Mac draw off. I've never had a problem with that. The butt plate, I'm not 100% sold, sold on it. I'm sure for some people it does give you options. I would probably just like to set it and leave it. But I guess in a pinch, if you were in a cover band and you were going for something, you wanted a really tight sound for one song, you could flip it back on. I don't know that over time if that wouldn't create uh, tension issues that when you went backwards, they would be a little bit looser than what they standard are. I haven't done it enough to, tr to be able to answer that. I do know that I did have finally have a problem with this type of strainer. The mag strainer is definitely an improvement. Uh, so there you go. That's my tip Tuesday. It's about... Uh, if you have those drums, you know, this is so much better by DW. This, pretty cool. I'm not 100% sold yet. I may just put the original butt plate back on and tune the drum where I like it and settings wise and leave it alone because I have so many snares. And, you know, and when I did have a house gig and whatnot, I always had more than one snare set up. And I also had a backup snare just in case I broke a head. I could switch the snare quickly and then on break, change it. So I'm the type of person that likes to carry multiple snares to a gig anyway. But if you're not that type of person, this might offer you some uh, options, I guess I'd say. So there you go. Finally had a problem with the strainer. So here it is, uh, the new mag or the new throw up on this old DW. So there you go. Thanks.